Chapter 4 Adam slept with Eve, his wife. She conceived and had Cain. She said, I've gotten a man with God's help. Then she had another baby, Abel. Abel was a herdsman, and Cain a farmer. Time passed. Cain brought an offering to God from the produce of his farm. Abel also brought an offering, but from the firstborn animals of his herd, choice cuts of meat. God liked Abel and his offering, but Cain and his offering didn't get his approval. Cain lost his temper and went into a sulk. God spoke to Cain. Why this tantrum? Why the sulking? If you do well, won't you be accepted? And if you don't do well, sin is lying in wait for you, ready to pounce. It's out to get you. You've got to master it. Cain had words with his brother. They were out in the field. Cain came at Abel, his brother, and killed him. God said to Cain, Where is Abel, your brother? He said, How should I know? Am I his babysitter? God said, What have you done? The voice of your brother's blood is calling to me from the ground. From now on, you'll get nothing but curses from this ground. You'll be driven from this ground that has opened its arms to receive the blood of your murdered brother. You'll farm this ground, but it will no longer give you its best. You'll be a homeless wanderer on earth. Cain said to God, My punishment is too much. I can't take it. You've thrown me off the land and I can never again face you. I'm a homeless wanderer on earth, and whoever finds me will kill me. God told him, No, anyone who kills Cain will pay for it seven times over. God put a mark on Cain to protect him so that no one who met him would kill him. Cain left the presence of God and lived in no man's land, east of Eden. Cain slept with his wife. She conceived and had Enoch. He then built a city and named it after his son, Enoch. Enoch had Irod. Irod had Mahujael. Mahujael had Methushael. Methushael had Lamech. Lamech married two wives, Ada and Zillah. Ada gave birth to Jabal, the ancestor of all who live in tents and herd cattle. His brother's name was Jubal the ancestor of all who play the lyre and flute. Zillah gave birth to Tubal-Cain, who worked at the forge making bronze and iron tools. Tubal-Cain's sister was Naama. Lamech said to his wives, Ada and Zillah, Listen to me, you wives of Lamech, hear me out. I killed a man for wounding me, a young man who attacked me. If Cain is avenged seven times, for Lamech, it's seventy-seven. Adam slept with his wife again. She had a son whom she named Seth. She said, God has given me another child in place of Abel, whom Cain killed. And then Seth had a son, whom he named Enosh. That's when men and women began praying and worshiping in the name of God. Chapter 5 The Family Tree of the Human Race This is the family tree of the human race. When God created the human race, he made it godlike, with a nature akin to God. He created both male and female and blessed them, the whole human race. When Adam was 130 years old, he had a son who was just like him, his very spirit and image, and named him Seth. After the birth of Seth, Adam lived another 800 years, having more sons and daughters. Adam lived a total of 930 years, and he died. When Seth was 105 years old, he had Enosh. After Seth had Enosh, he lived another 807 years, having more sons and daughters. Seth lived a total of 912 years, and he died. When Enosh was 90 years old, he had Kenan. After he had Kenan, he lived another 815 years, having more sons and daughters. Enosh lived a total of 905 years, and he died. When Kenan was 70 years old, he had Mahalalel. After he had Mahalalel, he lived another 840 years, having more sons and daughters. Kenan lived a total of 910 years, and he died. When Mahalalel was 65 years old, he had Jared. After he had Jared, he lived another 830 years, having more sons and daughters. Mahalalel lived a total of 895 years, and he died. 
When Jared was 162 years old, he had Enoch. After he had Enoch, he lived another 800 years, having more sons and daughters. Jared lived a total of 962 years, and he died. When Enoch was 65 years old, he had Methuselah. Enoch walked steadily with God. After he had Methuselah, he lived another 300 years, having more sons and daughters. Enoch lived a total of 365 years. Enoch walked steadily with God. And then one day, he was simply gone. God took him. When Methuselah was 187 years old, he had Lamech. After he had Lamech, he lived another 782 years. Methuselah lived a total of 969 years, and he died. When Lamech was 182 years old, he had a son. He named him Noah, saying, This one will give us a break from the hard work of farming the ground that God cursed. After Lamech had Noah, he lived another 595 years, having more sons and daughters. Lamech lived a total of 777 years, and he died. When Noah was 500 years old, he had Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Chapter 6 Giants in the Land When the human race began to increase, with more and more daughters being born, the sons of God noticed that the daughters of men were beautiful. They looked them over and picked out wives for themselves. Then God said, I'm not going to breathe life into men and women endlessly. Eventually, they're going to die. From now on, they can expect a lifespan of 120 years. This was back in the days, and also later, when there were giants in the land. The giants came from the union of the sons of God and the daughters of men. These were the mighty men of ancient lore, the famous ones. Noah and his sons God saw that human evil was out of control. People thought evil, imagined evil, 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 evil from morning to night. God was sorry that he had made the human race in the first place. It broke his heart. God said, I'll get rid of my ruined creation. Make a clean sweep. People, animals, snakes and bugs, birds, the works. I'm sorry I made them. But Noah was different. God liked what he saw in Noah. This is the story of Noah. Noah was a good man, a man of integrity in his community. Noah walked with God. Noah had three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. As far as God was concerned, the earth had become a sewer. There was violence everywhere. God took one look and saw how bad it was. Everyone corrupt and corrupting. Life itself corrupt to the core. God said to Noah, it's all over. It's the end of the human race. The violence is everywhere. I'm making a clean sweep. Build yourself a ship from teak wood. Make rooms in it. Coat it with pitch inside and out. Make it 450 feet long, 75 feet wide, and 45 feet high. Build a roof for it and put in a window 18 inches from the top. Put in a door on the side of the ship and make three decks, lower, middle, and upper. I'm going to bring a flood on the earth that will destroy everything alive under heaven. Total destruction. But I'm going to establish a covenant with you. You'll board the ship, and your sons, your wife, and your sons' wives will come on board with you. You are also to take two of each living creature, a male and a female, on board the ship to preserve their lives with you. Two of every species of bird, mammal, and reptile. Two of everything so as to preserve their lives along with yours. Also, get all the food you'll need and store it up for you and them. Noah did everything God commanded him to do.